In this video, we're going to talk about five top tips for language learning. It's important that children learn to talk and listen so they can become super communicators. This will help them to talk to other people, learn in school and make friends. The right skills need to be in place for children to develop other skills, similar to the layers of a cupcake. The cupcake case represents the stage of development before words come. These are the child's pre-verbal skills and early interactions, and they support and underpin everything else. Children gradually learn to share their interests and attention for longer periods of time. They begin recognising patterns, routines and behaviours and start to copy some of these in their play. Children start listening out for and tuning in to actual words more. Children practise being able to concentrate for a longer period of time. Next is the cupcake bun, which represents a child's understanding of language. Children begin to understand words as they hear them again and again, matching them to their experiences. Children begin to recognise more key words and then start to understand them when placed together in sentences. Children learn more complicated words as they hear them in their real experiences. Consider the word sneeze. A picture wouldn't have the same movement as the real action to enable a child to learn what this means. For all of this to happen, children need to be able to listen and tune into language and remember it. First words come next, and this is represented as the swirl of frosting on the cupcake. First words are usually names of people and objects that children are familiar with, as well as some words to demand. These usually match language from everyday activities and routines. More words gradually get joined together in sentences as children begin to recognise how they can use them well together. Finally, children develop speech sounds and this is the cherry on top of the cake. Speech sounds usually become refined as we use them more in words. For this to happen, earlier language and communication skills need to be in place. For example, attention, listening, understanding and using words in context. Some speech sound replacements are typical in younger children. For example, a child might say one for run and this can normally take time to develop, sometimes beyond the age of seven. Skills at the bottom of the cupcake need to be in place before skills at the top can be developed. Being a super communicator doesn't happen by accident. Adults need to encourage and support children to help them with their speech and language development. This might seem daunting at first, but it can be as easy as talking, listening and playing with your child. Some children learn to talk quicker than others and some need a little bit more time. All children would benefit from these tips. Our first top tip is about the environment. When we're thinking about the environment, we want to make a positive space for our children to learn. This means reducing distractions, so that might be turning off the TV, and making sure we have our child's attention. We can do this by using their name and getting down on their level. And we can think about building special time into our daily routine. That's just five minutes a day where we share a book or play a game that our child chooses. In this time, we can also build in practice of turn taking. This is really important for children to have the best environment to learn in and turn taking skills are going to be needed later to take part in conversations. Our second top tip is creating opportunities. There are lots of ways that you can create opportunities for speech and language development with your child, either at home, in the car, at the shops, bath time, or anywhere that you are with your child. Here are some examples. So you can tempt your child to talk. This is increasing the child's motivation to want to say something. So you could do this by putting a, a favourite toy up a height so the child has to come and ask for help. You can put a box on a lid of toys. You can put their favourite snacks slightly out of reach. Um, to try not to jump in and offer the child help straight away because the child may just come and ask for some help. You can leave pauses or miss out words in memorable rhymes and stories. 
Um, the child needs to hear words lots of times before they'll start to use them. So you can do things like play ready, steady, go and leave out the go so the child can then step in with that. Or nursery rhymes, you can sing Humpty Dumpty and miss out familiar words such as Humpty Dumpty sat on her and leave a pause. Another example would be to give your child some choices. So you could say, do you want juice or milk? That way the child's got a chance to hear the word before they try to say it. Another example is to follow your child's lead during play. This means allowing your child to choose the activity and then letting them play the way they want to play. This gives us a chance to talk about what they're interested in at that time. Try to remember to wait and give your child time to make comments and ask questions during play. Staying silent for five to 10 seconds will let them know that you're listening to them and what they have to say is really important. Our third top tip is questions and comments. When thinking about questions and comments, we want to try and ask less questions and instead make more comments about what our child is doing. We can think about this as moving from being a quiz master to being a commentator. An example of this could be if your child is building a tower, instead of asking, what are you doing? Instead say, that's a big tower, or there's the red block. This is important because by asking less questions, we reduce pressure on our child to speak. And we also provide a good language model by using the keywords related to what they're doing. The fourth top tip is modelling. Modelling can be used to encourage the development of your child's language skills. I'm now going to talk about modelling and what that means. When you're talking to your child, use child-friendly words and keep your language simple. Your child is more likely to copy brick on than put the red brick on the green brick. Try not to tell your child to talk. For example, say horse. This, this puts extra pressure on the child, especially if they find talking tricky. Children learn new words best by using them when they want to and when they're talking about something that they're interested in. When learning language, children often make mistakes. Rather than correcting them, it's more helpful to repeat back what they've said in the correct way and emphasise the important words. You can also expand on what the child has said by adding more information. For example, if your child says, I go granny, you can say, yes, you're going to granny's. You can expand on this by saying, yes, you're going to granny's on the bus. We can think about modelling as repeating, emphasising and expanding. Our fifth top tip is repetition. We know it can feel tiring to feel like you're saying the same thing over and over, but it's really key to your children's learning. We can build repetition into everyday activities. So for example, if you're shopping with your child, you can name the items as you pick them up and name them again as you put them in the trolley. You can also repeat songs and nursery rhymes or phrases that they hear in their play, such as ready, steady, go. This is really important because children need to hear words lots of times before they can remember them and use them. To recap, our five top tips for language learning are environment, creating opportunities, questions and comments, modelling and repetition. It's important to remember that these tips won't work overnight and it will take some time for you to see the benefit. But it's important to keep going with these strategies and know that they are helping. If this type of support isn't helping your child make progress, 
they may need more specialist advice. This could mean a referral to speech and language therapy. Parents can refer the child in themselves or through any professional that knows your child with your permission. Contact details will be coming up on the next slide. Thanks for listening. We hope you find our five top tips helpful.